What's up, ladies? Good morning. I'm so happy to be here with you all. I have been in the trenches with my clients lately, so I am doing my best to answer all your questions and give you all the value and content. Um, but you know, just bear with me. <laughs> this is why I'm hiring trainers. So if you haven't seen the post, I am currently in the process of hiring two female trainer and nutritionist, trainers and nutritionists. If you know anyone or if you are a trainer who has at least two years of training experience and nutrition coaching experience, who has proof of client results, client experience, education, mentorship, all that, please let me know. Um, I will be hiring within the next two weeks so we can continue to take more clients and change lives. Okay. I am going to answer the question today from Thebes. Her question was, um, I'm, my rib muscle is injured, but I feel like I can't work out because the voice in my head says I need to train every single day. So that's what I'm going to answer today. Now, really quick, I do want to introduce myself. We have a ton of new people in the group, which is fabulous. I'm so glad that you're here to learn, to absorb, to continue to expand your lifestyle, get more fit. So my name is Kristen. I've been a trainer and nutritionist for about 12 and a half years now. Absolutely love changing women's lives. I've trained over 400 ladies, literally from, I've got to my goal weight and I don't like what my body looks like. I'm skinny fat. Um, I've gotten as far as I can get myself and I just don't know how to get to the next level. Um, I've trained competitive jujitsu fighters. I've trained the military for five years. I've trained so many different types of women. My favorite type of woman is the one typically that says, I've tried everything. It's just not working. She's putting time in the gym, but she's just not loving the results. She knows that there's so many more results on the table. I love helping that woman because she's driven. She's purpose driven. She knows this is a lifestyle, but she just, there's too much guesswork. Like, what do I eat for my body? How do I make this as a sustainable lifestyle? So I love doing that. Excuse me. Um, I have my bachelor's degree in exercise science, my master's in international business, and loads of certifications and trainings under the sun. This is what I've done my entire adult life, and this is honestly what I'll do for the rest of my life. I'm going to share my story really quick. Um, I, I want to be more vulnerable with everybody and really just share who I am and how I got here. So I'm going to just give a quick snippet um, of my story, so maybe five minutes or less. Um, okay, so, and the first part, I'm going to share kind of the messaging I received growing up, and um, parents, if you're watching this, I love you and I respect you, but it's a part of my story, okay? Um, all right, cool. So when I was young, I was an athlete growing up. I did cheerleading, dance, and gymnastics. That was my main thing. Um, and my dad, who I adore very much, um, is in the generation where women didn't really work out. And so even when I could see my abs, he would come up. It's so funny. I'm like about to cry. I've never actually shared this before. Um, he would come up and like grab my love handles, even though I've really never been like overweight per se, except during pregnancy, after pregnancy. And he'd be like, what is this? You know, you're about to get put on a diet. I'm 5'8". He's like, if you hit 150 pounds, you're going on a diet. And, but they didn't teach me about nutrition. They didn't know anything about nutrition. And he was a binge eater. So it's like I got taught binge eating, but then I got shamed for eating. It was horrible. It was horrible. But then when I started lifting weights, he told me I looked like a man. So it was like I was either fat or I looked like a man. I could never win. It was horrible to go through that. It took many years to... Um, love myself and my body actually and accept my body. And that's partly why I love being in this position because I can help women overcome the trauma they experience so they can really live in a body that they love. It's really healthy. That's not in the diet culture. So anyway, I became a trainer. Um, and so that was in uh, 2011. Yeah, that was beginning of 2011. And um, that, that was kind of the bulk there. So trained for six years in person, joined the military, trained them, created nutrition courses, taught nutrition courses, courses to the military. It was awesome. Um, and then when I, so then I had a baby, I had just competed in a bikini competition in South Korea, and then I got pregnant. So going from shredded to pregnant was not fun mentally at all. And, and um, my husband at the time, um, was honestly very, very mentally and emotionally abusive. And so he would just look at me like I was a disgusting pig. And he would tell me, I just cannot remember what your body ever looked like before you were pregnant. 
like literally would do that, would look at another woman and be like, and then would look at me and then go, uh, like physically to actually just hurt me. It was horrible. And um, after my beautiful son was born, he cheated on me, got another woman pregnant and totally abandoned us. So, and we had just decided I would get out of the military. So I had no job. We owned a house in New York, which is on completely the other side of the country is my family in Oregon. I'm now in Washington state. And uh, so I had nothing. I had an infant. He wanted nothing to do with. I had no money, no job, no home. And I was, and then I was going to my parents who my dad was also honestly, sorry, dad, again, love you, but really verbally abusive. And um, this was not that long ago. This was in 2020. And uh, so I was like, holy crap. Okay, well, obviously I'm going to train. This is what I love to do. And COVID had just hit. And so I threw everything online. And, I, and I'm going to actually backtrack just a little bit. So in uh, 2011, I remember feeling so uncomfortable in my skin. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want to go hang out with my friends because I felt disgusting. It, it's not that I was super, super overweight or anything, but I didn't like how my jeans fit. I didn't like how my shirts fit. I didn't like my hips because again, my family made fun of my hips a lot. It was awful. It was awful. The messaging in my head. And, um, as soon as I found weightlifting and macros, I was like, I will never in my life, let another woman not know how to get from point A to point B and to love her body because it was so empowering. It changed my life so much that literally that day in 2011, it was in April, I was like, this is my life mission. And it's been ever since. I just love it so much. So fast forward, we did the military thing. That whole situation happened with my ex-husband and uh, I threw everything online and I just went ham in my business. I was like, I'm so dedicated to women. I, I just want to help women change their lives. Okay. And um, the passion and the desire to serve women in this capacity has just grown a thousand fold since then. So, um, yeah, like I said, I've trained over 400 women to do this and it's just, it's great because their life changes so much. It's so sustainable. And with everything out in the, not everything, a lot of things out in the industry now, it's like diet, keto, this, that, this, that. And it's like, great, I'm going to lose weight for three months. And then, oh my gosh, I'm killing my metabolism. This isn't sustainable. And then you're just like in this horrible cycle that affects you physically, but affects you mentally so much. It kills your hormones. It kills your metabolism. And then you're trying to undo that kind of stuff. And so what I love to teach ladies is how to actually bring a lot of health and sustainability to their body, but still be able to go be social. I drink wine. I go out to eat. I love going on vacations and just going out with people. I'm never that person that says, I can't eat that. Sorry, I'm on a diet. <laughs> That's just not living, you know? We learn moderation. We learn portion sizes. We learn healthier options. We learn how to create mindset shifts of, I actually don't want to eat that fried food because it doesn't make me feel that good. If you're not there right now, that's okay. You can get there. And that's actually, I teach women to get there. They don't come in like, I'm a health nut. This is great. They usually come in like, I have no idea what to eat for my body. I don't feel comfortable. Like, what do I do? You know, I'm working out. Like, what do I do? And so I just, I love it so much. I'm so grateful for all of you here. I'm so grateful for the Facebook group, my clients, my team, just everybody that's here because we are on a mission to serve the world, to help people get sustainably fit, sustainably healthy, and to just love their body, feel great from the inside out, feel comfortable in their skin. Like who doesn't want to wear a swimsuit and feel amazing, right? Great. Thanks ladies <laughs> for holding the space for me to share my story. Cool. Okay. So I've been there. I know how uncomfortable it feels in your skin. I'm sorry. Okay. So let me answer the question from Miss Phoebes. So just as a reminder, she said, being injured at my rib muscle, but not being able to rest because the voice inside my head says I need to work out every day. Okay, so I'm going to help her and whoever else is experiencing that. And let me know in the chat who's experiencing this or who feels that. Um, and I'm going to help you overcome that, but also share with you why you don't and shouldn't work out every day. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm going to do a spin off it. Cool. Okay, first, why do you feel that way? Ask yourself, journal it out, sit in the bath and just think, why do I feel that way? Like, where did that messaging come from? It came from somewhere. You didn't just create it, most likely. Some all or nothing approach women, the perfectionist woman might feel this way. I feel you. I'm a perfectionist in a lot of ways, so I totally feel you. 
Um, but ask yourself, where did this messaging come from? Because typically finding the root really helps you be like, oh, it was Sally who's been doing keto and is 100 pounds overweight and is trying to tell me to work out every day because that's what I need to do. It's like, okay. And no shame to anybody, but it, but if it's not working for someone else, you probably shouldn't take advice from them because what advice are you taking? If it's not working for them, you might not want to follow it. You might want to follow something that's actually working, healthy, and sustainable. So ask yourself why, what, uh, what in your past has caused this mindset. Now, I have nutrition-only clients, very few, because I definitely like the weightlifting side. It's a huge difference in results. But I do have nutrition-only clients, and they see fat loss week after week after week after week without working out. Some of them work out. But a lot of them, well, not a lot of them, some of them do not work out at all. So my point in sharing that is you can absolutely get all the fat off through nutrition alone. You do not have to work out. It's being on the right macros for your body, a healthy and sustainable way, not starvation, not starvation, not starvation, not starvation. A thousand calorie diet is a starvation diet. Okay. Do not do that. Do not do that. It will cause so much damage in the future. Um, Okay, so yeah, there's that. So why lift then? Some of you may be asking that, some of you may not, but why would we lift, right? And so what I like to tell ladies is, I get all your fat off through nutrition and I build your physique through weightlifting. We build these beautiful bubbly muscles, a fit and toned belly, lifted glutes, toned legs, like just feminine and fit and feeling good in your skin. You can't do that with nutrition only. You can't do that with cardio, ladies. Cardio is great. Nothing's wrong with it. It's a great way to burn calories. But if you don't want to do a bunch of cardio, that's okay. You can still be super fit endurance wise through different rep schemes of weightlifting, which is actually why I have my ladies do between four reps and sometimes up to 30 reps, depending on the woman, because I want them to be strong under all conditions and fit under all conditions. So you do want to lift weights. But the thing is, you don't have to lift every day. If you do lift every day, you're not even allowing your body enough recovery time to get the full benefit out of your lifts. You're going to get into overtraining. It's, it's not a good recipe. So you're actually usually doing more damage by lifting every day than if you lift, let's say, five days a week and take two full rest days. On those rest days, go walking, go hiking, be active. Like I am all about living a healthy, active lifestyle. 10 out of 10 recommend always, but you don't have to lift every day. And I highly advise against it because it's going to hinder your results. It's going to hinder your body. It's just not a healthy approach. Again, it's that recovery time that you're, you're killing. There's no recovery time. Now I'm going to quick tangent on this because, um, in the past, and I think some ladies still struggle with this, they feel, uh, well, I have to be huffing and puffing. I have to be so sweaty, and it has to just feel super hard um, to be getting a good workout. And so they'll shorten their rest time because it feels harder when they're lifting. It's actually not a wise approach. So let's um, talk about like a lateral raise or, or a shoulder press, for example. So let's say you're doing 10 reps. I typically advise about 60 second rest for a 10 rep workout, okay? Um, if you shorten that, your shoulders are not going to be as recovered. And so other muscle groups are going to have to be activated because your shoulders don't have the energy or um, the ability to actually fully activate in that lift. And so now maybe your traps are coming into play. Maybe a little bit of your lats or your back is coming into play, but it's a shoulder exercise. So by saying, oh, but it feels harder if I do less rest. Sure, it does because your shoulders are exhausted, but you're not getting a bit as big of a benefit. You really should take the rest, allow your muscles to recover so they can be activated and engaged the way that exercise is intended to do. Great. Ladies, any questions? Drop it below. Okay. Anything you disagree with, tell me. Tell me. I'll share, you know, why I feel that way. I'll dig into the research and say, look, here's a supporting research study on that. And if I'm wrong, that's okay. I'll share with you. Oh, you know, that's a good point. I was wrong on that. Here's, you know, the research that I actually found. Like, so please always voice it because we're going to learn, right? The more discussion we have, the more we get to learn. And like, that's what we're here for, right? Nobody is perfect. Um, but, it, and it's so good to dig into recent research 
If your research is more than five years old and it's not peer reviewed, make sure it's peer reviewed. If it's less or if it's more than five years old, you need to find earlier research because this industry is advancing so quickly, fitness and nutrition, that you've got to stay up on it. So what Sally told you 10 years ago, like it's probably been debunked, right? We got to keep up on that. Okay, great. Yeah, so, and then I kind of already touched on this, but um, feeling like you have to work out every day is an all or nothing mindset. But to have a sustainable lifestyle, you can't do the all or nothing because you'll always be left with nothing because when you're not perfect, you're going to feel like crap about yourself and then you're going to quit. I've seen it happen. Oh, I've seen it happen. It sucks. It holds women captive. It's just, It's not good. It's not good. Okay. The next thing, this is the last thing I'm going to share on this. I love this drill for anything. It, you can use it for anything in your relationship, in your work, in fitness, in nutrition, in your results, in anything. So if you take anything away from this video, take this next piece. Um, someone shared this with me. I did not come up with this on my own. Okay, so just quit. Um, there is a game called Fact or Fiction. Okay, so um, Phoebes, when, you, when the voice in your head, I hate that voice sometimes, when it says, you have to work out every day or you're freaking failing or you're not going to get results or negative, 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 negative. You say, okay, I'm going to pause and I'm going to play fact or fiction. And I'm going to take this to a court of law in your mind, right? I'm going to take this to a court of law and say, I need to work out. This is a piece of paper. <laughs> I need to work out every single day. Lawyer or judge is this fact or fiction. Dig into the research. You see it's fiction. Okay, so now you know the true answer. So now, although that voice is going to continue to replay in your mind, to continue to try to bog you down, this is where you get to rewire that thought pattern. And it takes time, and it takes discipline, and it takes energy, but it's so worth it. So every time that thought process comes up, you have to work every day. Oh, you're taking a rest day? You suck. No, I don't. This is recovery, and this is good for self-care, for mental health, and for my muscle recovery. No, but you really have to work out every day. No, I don't. This is for muscle recovery. This is for self-care. This is for mental health. Keep repeating it over and over and over and over. Ladies who struggle with self-worth, if the voice in your head is saying, literally no one will ever love you, you can say fact or fiction, court of law. That is complete BS. You say, nope, I'm super lovable. Even if you don't feel it, keep saying it. And when the voice is in your head, fight it with your words, even just mumbling with yourself. No, actually I'm lovable. No, actually I'm lovable. Actually, I can have a super fit physique and actually I can do this and I am supported and I am capable and I am worthy of having this amazing physique and I can freaking do it. Keep fighting it over time. That mental thought pattern, it will change. It takes time because if you've been thinking it for 30 years, you're not going to fix it in 24 hours. Give yourself months to do it. Again, it takes so much discipline. Um, I'll actually share a personal example. Um, again, Dad, if you're watching, I love you. Um, I really do. But um, it took a long time to heal from that pain that he caused or that I allowed to cause me about my body. And so there was a lot of unforgiveness around it. And so every time the, the conversation, I'll never forget it. Well, I don't want to say that, right? I do want to forget it. But every time I visualize that conversation and how bad that hurt, I actually stop myself and I say, nope, I love him so much. Everybody makes mistakes. I know he wasn't trying to hurt me personally. And it says more about him than it does about me. And I'm going to love my body and I can do this and everything's okay. And what I actually started to do too was when I was struggling with unforgiveness, I would say every time that thought came in my mind, I would say something kind that I loved about him it made a world of a difference. It actually took like three days and the thought process is stopped. So really effective. Again, it takes a lot of discipline, but it's really effective for everything. Um, you guys, one more thing on this. If you struggle with overeating and your thought process says, I'll feel better if I go binge eat. Fact or fiction, you know that's fiction, right? Because think about how you feel afterwards. So you can say, no, so the thought process comes in your head. I feel better after I binge eat. You can say, actually, I don't. I feel like crap. So I'm going to choose to go on a walk instead because that's part of self-care, right? You're going to meet resistance. But if you don't push through that resistance, you're going to stay where you are. And most of you say, I don't want to stay here where I am. 
right? So if you don't want to stay where you are, you've got to push through that resistance, use tools, use strategies, get support, know that you don't have to be perfect and it takes time, but keep pushing through that resistance and it will get easier and easier and easier and easier. And then suddenly you're on the other side and you're like, okay, that was so worth it. Like that was great. That took time, but oh my gosh, like I'm freaking free from that. It doesn't have to hold you captive anymore, right? Took me three years to get through binge eating, but it was constant diligence and practicing new mental patterns, new mental thought process patterns, um, and constantly getting food out of my house, you know, focusing on portion sizes. It took time, but I'll tell you now, being years on the other side of it, I'm like, thank you, Pastel, for putting in that work because otherwise I'd still be struggling with it and I wouldn't be here to be able to teach you all this today. Great, ladies. Okay, was that helpful? What was your biggest takeaway? I'd love to hear. Um, oh, and then, okay. Every video I'm gonna do, I am gonna uh, share coaching opportunities too. Lots of beautiful DMs happening. and But a lot of people say, oh my gosh, I didn't know that you, that you were a trainer taking clients. I'm like, yes, like that is exactly what I do. I'm here to give value and educate always, definitely. But my main thing is here to, is uh, I train, right? Okay, so ladies looking to create a very lean and toned physique. I usually have ladies lose about one to 1.5 pounds per week. Measurements are way more accurate, so that is what we go by, but I share the weight so you can understand rate of loss. Really healthy, really sustainable. Oh, I guess we're taken out because I do your macros for you. I change them as needed throughout the program always. I educate you on why. Like, hey, you know, uh, Gertrude, that's the thing that came into my mind. I'm making this change. Here's why. Here's what you can expect. So you get to know your body so much. You learn what your body needs, what, you're, what uh, you feel best at, what you need to thrive while you're getting results week after week. Once you hit your goal, we reverse diet you up to maintenance so we can teach your body how to maintain your results, stay there and still lose fat and be able to eat more food. And then for a lot of women, I actually wean them off of macros. We use macros like a tool. We don't use it like a diet. We truly use it like a tool to habit stack, to teach you super healthy habits, to get guaranteed results while we build your body with the weightlifting. Um, weekly check-ins, right, to make sure that, A, your program's getting you fab results, so any changes needed, I'll do that for you automatically, or my trainers, soon-to-be trainers, will do that for you automatically, um, and then we build this fit and feminine and gorgeous physique through the weightlifting. I'm currently on a waitlist until May or 15th, and I only have two spots for the 15th, so if you're interested in that, you can call my info um, or just pop in my DMs, which I know most of you guys do, totally fine. It's a vulnerable thing, right? And we'll talk about your goals. Tell me what you want to experience or what you want to experience, what you want to achieve. And tell me what you've been experiencing so I can just get an understanding of where are you at, right? So I can come fit around you. You don't come fit into a program. Like we come fit around you to get you from point A to point B while teaching you a super healthy, fit, sustainable lifestyle that you enjoy. That's really enjoyable and social if you want it to be. Great. All right, ladies. That's all I have for you today. <laughs> For those who are fast talkers, <laughs> you're my jam. And uh, hopefully I'm not talking too fast for anybody. <laughs> okay, lovely ladies. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day today. Today's Tuesday. I hope you have a really, really great day today. If there's anything I can do to support you, let me know. Um, I do have, so in um, pinned in the Facebook group, the second pin is what problems are you facing? How can I support you? These, this is where I'm answering the videos. Oh my gosh, that post is where I'm answering these questions from. So any questions you have, whatever you're struggling with, just comment on there and I'm just working my way down one by one and I'll keep uh, creating training videos. If I don't know the answer, I'll dig into the research and find the answer for you. Great ladies. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.